Hey everyone, how's it going? I have finally decided to do the fan mail opening episode. Uh, this is going to be the first one because I know a lot of you wanted to send more things. So I've got nine right now and I'm going to go ahead and start opening for you and see my reactions live for them because I, as you can see, I have not opened a single one of them. That one came taped, but this one, none of them have been opened. So let's take a look and see what we got, shall we? So this first one is from Ashley Jaina. I'm going to just do first names, uh, no last names. But Ashley, with red envelope, you're number one. Congratulations. Let's see what we got here. Do a gentle opening right there. Very gentle. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I already see. Oh. So the first thing that I saw that came out. Is this adorable little post-it fan art of Caitlin and Travis from Minecraft Mine Street? That is adorable. I love that. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So they, they actually gave me a little PS note before I started reading the letter. PS reads, Don't get confused by my name. On the envelope it says Ashley Jana, but I prefer Ashton. It's not legally changed, just so as a heads up. Ashton, very, very sorry about that. Now I know. Let's read your letter. <clears throat> So, oh, this is really sweet. Okay. To PM Seymour, hey, I hope you're having an amazing day so far. And I just wanted to say you're an awesome voice actor and person in general. You've honestly inspired me so much for a long time. You're so talented and a cool person. I still can't get over how great you are acting as for Travis. <laughs> the people who watch your videos, Aphmau's videos, can clearly hear his emotions and just the feelings you show through him are just mwah, perfect. They actually wrote that. I didn't do that. It's not improv. The new ASMR series you recently started really is relaxing and does release some stress. When you mention your depression in a vlog, I hope everything gets better for you no matter who you are and what you do. We all love you so much. You've been a huge inspiration for us and thank you for striving through life with everything you've got and continue pursuing all of your passions. From a huge fan, Ashton. We're already on the first letter. I'm already about to cry. That is, oh my god, that's so sweet. I'm going to put the little post-it note on my de office desk because that is cute. I really like a little detail on them. That's good. I like that. All right. Uh, this one has no name, but uh, it, I'm sure we'll find out in the one. But it's a small envelope, so let's do a mystery surprise, shall we? I like that little inside was plaid. That's cute. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so this is from Willow. <clears throat> Dear Pat, uh, hi, I guess. <laughs> You're an amazing person. I'm inspired by your videos, no matter if it's ASMR, music, or comedy. One of your videos can make my day. I'm not sure if you read my letter on the video or not. I am but I try to get noticed and stand out. I don't know, maybe if I'm just irrelevant. You're not irrelevant, stop that. But it would make me feel better if one of my favorite YouTubers read this, Smiley Face. It would make me feel like I'm not alone. I want to do editing, video, comedy, singing, voiceovers, etc. Could you please give some advice on some of those subjects? Thanks, I hope you're doing good, from Willow. Willow, you're not irrelevant. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And. One of the biggest tips that I can give in voiceover acting, if you're paying attention right now, and I hope you are, um, don't ever stop. Just keep doing it. Even if it's just a simple cold read during the day. Like, honestly, before I go into the booth and do anything or do any of the videos, I do improv sessions with myself. Yeah, it's a little crazy. It can be a little eccentric if, you know, you're walking and seeing me do it. But it is one of those, it's just good practice. It helps you figure out dynamics and everything. It's kind of like the same lesson that I was taught when you're making music or drawing. Don't go a day without doing it. Even if it's just something small, just keep practicing. That's the biggest tip I can give you. And in terms of video editing, I'm absolutely sure you can follow the same rules. Especially with Adobe Audition. The easiest thing that you can start doing is just working on shaky effects that I, like I do with uh, any time a character has a freak out or anything like that. So yeah, don't ever give up, Will. You're going to do great. The next one is from Chloe. I like your name. It's a good name. All right, Chloe. What you got for me? Do, 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 do. Boop. Okay. All right, Chloe. Let's see what you got. 
Dear PM, bro, bro. Hello, my name is Chloe from Washington State, and I love watching your videos, especially the character names, but in Japanese. Wow, oh, I do like doing those. I've been learning how to speak Japanese. I was wondering if you can give me some pointers. I know how to say a few phrases like, hello, my name is Chloe, or thank you for the meal, but I wanted to learn more fun phrases like weird phrases, but I'm kind of stuck at your Travis Falcon, but in Japanese, and tried learning from there. So can you make more? Thank you. Gotta go, but I'm sure I'll write again. From Chloe. I wish I was a good Japanese tutor. I really am not. It is one of those, um, a lot of times in those videos, if I get stuck, I just kind of pull out the dictionary that I have from Japanese to English and just sort of get some lessons from there. And that's usually why it takes me so long to do those videos. <laughs> um, I would say... If there is an opportunity where you can go online and learn Chloe, I'm sure there's a lot of online courses you can do it. There's another, uh, there's a mobile app that I believe is called, um, it's like Rosetta Stone, but it's free. I'm sure you can type in Rosetta Stone on Google. Monly, that's what it is. Monly. Monly is a free service that you can use uh, just to learn Japanese phrases every day. So I would suggest looking into that if you can. That'd be really good if you want to uh, break out and try to be more fluent with it. Don't ever forget about Chloe. All right. So this one also has no name, but I'm pretty sure it's from Germany. I think it's from Germany. Trumpa lot of singers. I think that's Germany. Well, let's find out. Oh, they wrote on the envelope I like pandas. That's cute. All right. Let's see who we got here. Do 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 do, do 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 This one's kind of heavy too. I feel like there's something in here. Ooh. There is something in here. What's the thing that's in here? Oh 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 oh! This is adorable. Okay, this is really sweet. <gasps> it's from Ireland. Oh my God! <clears throat> I have to do it. I can name all my people. I have to do it. <clears throat> Dear Pat, hello. My name is Abby Moran, and I'm 13 years old. I really, really love your videos. Your relaxation videos have really helped me stay calm. I have a huge art exam coming, and my best is and my desk is a mess because of all the other exams, like English. I hate English. Me too, buddy. My teacher hates me. Also, I'm so sorry about my handwriting. Actually, my handwriting is probably why she hates me. Anyway, I love you. Lots of love, Abby. And then, P.S. I'm not very good at putting thoughts onto paper. There's so much more I wish I could write, but I just don't know how to. And Abby actually went out of her way to give me a photo of her adorable little dog. And she gave me, <laughs> she gave me a little Irish coin. Oh my goodness. Oh. At least now, if I ever am in Ireland, I have two bucks to spare. That is delightful. Thank you so much, Abby. Abby, I hope you did really well on your English exam and all your other exams. I know you can do it. <clears throat> can't do the whole video like that. As much as I would want to, and I'm sure my people would love it, I just can't. The next one, uh, also from out of... Oh, this one's from Canada! I think somebody gave me a heads up about this one on Tumblr, saying they were from Canada. So, let's see if I'm right. Open. Okay. Oh, goodness. It is a lot. It's a lot. Oh! Oh, oh, it was a drawing. Oh, okay. I, it was right. It's Peacekeeper Angel. Thank you for reaching out to me on Tumblr. And she gave me a little drawing of me as a spear fighter. That is adorable. I love it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see what you got. Hello. Oh, gosh. This is really kind of embarrassing, but I saw your post on Tumblr. I thought for a while of what I could send you, and I couldn't think of anything really special and great because you're really special and great. It's so hard nowadays to be so bright and cheerful when in a world feels awful. Sometimes saying something upbeat isn't enough. Pardon, wrong words. The words feel hollow. A positive attitude makes positive, worlds, positive words real. And you do that all the time, and it's awesome. It's not just a whole lot, but here's a picture for you. It's you in armor holding a spear. I don't know why I drew it like that. 
I was just a big weirdo and doodled whatever I could think of. Hopefully you liked it. If not, give it up to your cat to sit on or whatever. Anyway, have a nice day. Peacekeeper Angel. And then she drew herself. That's adorable. Well, Peacekeeper, you picked good because uh, Spearfighters are my favorite class in Fire Emblem. So you did good. You did very, very good. Thank you so much. Oh, that's sweet. All righty. And this is another anonymous one. It says, this is my first fan mail. I hope you like it. All right. Let's see what you've got here. And this is, something else is in this one, too. Oh. Oh. Did you put little friendship bracelets in here? Oh, my God. Those are adorable. Look at those. They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh, where do you start on this? Um, uh, 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 here we go. Okay. Oh, playlist. Oh, and then they drew me in the photo. It's really cute. Oh, okay. So here we go. Um, so I think that's the second page. Okay. Sorry. I got all confused. I was like, where do I start here? Okay. First off, it says load playlist. And there's a drawing of me. Look at that. Dear Patrick, hi, I'm Camilla. I'm new to your channel, so I'm a noob. So as far as I'm, so far I'm obsessed with your ASMR and your voice actor lessons. I'm ill right now and planning. Oh, I'm 11 right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like, oh, you're ill. I'm 11 right now and planning to be a digital artist. I live in Queens, New York. Thank you for everything. I know you have heard this a lot, but you're such an inspiration for everything I do. I want to thank you, even if this gets lost in mail. Hopefully not. That would suck. It can get lost. I can't thank you enough. Also, the also those rap battles are fire. <laughs> I can't stop listening to them. Bye, and may all wishes come true. Sincerely, me. By the way, that's a song, and it's great, and you should listen to it. I will listen to it. I'm also known as Sylvia Alcon on YouTube, or Bourgeois Alcon Camilla. All right. I will check you out, Camilla. Oh, and the bracelet might not be your size. Sorry, you can adjust it. Nonsense. They're stretchy. I nap it on my wrist. <laughs> All right, we've got two more. All right, we're making progress here. So this is from Taylor. Taylor. What you got going on, Taylor? Oh, these are really sweet. Still kind of like crying. Thank God I'm far away. Oh, 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 immediately in love. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Look at little Travis. Oh. And I love the little detail in his shirt and the drink. And I love Care for a Drink has multiple colors in it. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, Taylor, you didn't have to do that. Okay. Let's move on. All right. All right. Hi, PM Seymour. I'm a big fan of you, so much that my friends tease me about it. I've made a few bits of generally trashy nonsense, fan arts of characters you've voiced. I have sent one of Travis from Aphmau series. You're really an amazing person, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Sincerely, Blue. That's my artist signature, and I got my Instagram name from it, too. Oh, and they left it. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here. So, guys, go follow underscore blue doodles on Instagram. They did the cutest little Travis art. I don't know if you saw that, but I'll write it in the sig in my uh, description box below. All right. Thank you, Taylor. Oh, my gosh. This is going on my computer. All right. And our last one is from Willow Graves. And you wrote, hi, Pat. All right, Willow, let's see what you've got here. Well, I'm actually going to need a letter opener for this one. And... Bang. Yay! Did it. I didn't want to put the letter opener on screen because it's sharp and pointy. And people can be like, Pat, no, you're clumsy! Which I know. But the world doesn't need to know that. Especially when there's something sharp in my hands. God, this is like the toughest envelope in existence. Oh, I have to do this now. I'm sorry, Willow's envelope. Forgive me. 
Forgive me! Oh, it's because it's double sided. Well, don't I feel silly? Is that there, right? Okay. Well, I feel silly. <clears throat> Final letter from Willow. And it's a long one. Worth it. Dear Pat, you're a creative, funny, and amazing person. One of your videos can brighten my day. You are one of my favorite YouTubers, if not my favorite. All your videos are priceless, from God to Alien to Tumblr to ASMR and many more. It's clear you work hard to make every video perfect and care about your fans. I want to work in a video, so I thought you could maybe give me advice. Like about character voiceovers, editing, animation, and singing, stuff like that. I would love to hear back from you. Anyway, hope you're well and happy. You've inspired me, and I hope we fans can encourage and support you. You're the best. Also, really, LaCroix Pat, sincerely, Willow. First off, yes, LaCroix. Although I only have two flavors I love, tangerine and orange. They're the only good ones, in my opinion. I tried coconut because I was told it was the worst one, and you're right, it's absolute garbage. I hate it. Um, <clears throat> well, thank you. Uh, I guess any advice, any additional advice I can give for voice acting and singing like that. Um, well, I'm not the best to give out singing advice just because... I don't sing well. I think I rap pretty decently, but I'm not a good singer. Um, but I think I could probably give the same advice in terms of rapping, because it's all about, when it comes to making music in general, it's all about flow, rhythm, and having a good combination of like high peak performances and something that shows subtlety. Because music is all emotional, no matter what you do. So it's all about, it. it is expressing not only yourself, but what you are writing down and creating as music, which I guess also applies to expressing yourself. Um, same rules can be implied to acting in general. Um, anything that I haven't talked about in the uh, voice acting 101 videos, I would say uh, yeah, just come from the heart. It's the, it's the sappiest statement that I can make, but it's honestly so very true when it comes to doing acting in general. If you can absolutely feel it in your heart, you let it out. And that is what makes a really great performance. And it's funny to say, I do it every so often in the Tumblr videos too, because a lot of those reactions sometimes, I go in blind on those. Like I'll find a post and it'll be given to me, but I don't read it fully until it comes time to record it. So when the time comes, my reaction to those is to end up being very genuine and from the heart, especially the Tumblr puns. I just, I just type in pun on Tumblr, and those are the things that I get. The Protractor one, that was the one that blew me away. I had no idea, no idea at first. And then it hit me, I'm like, wow, really? You kidding me? So yeah. I think that's a lot of times when you do voice acting too and you go into a studio, you don't really know what the script is until you're given it the day of you need to record. And I think sometimes that is effective. I know stage acting, there's a lot of rehearsal and everything that you have to do. So you gotta practice it because mainly you're also gonna be on stage. So you gotta figure out your movements and everything like that. But in voice acting, you're just, you just have to speak and you have to speak true. So I think when you're given a script like that and you go in blind, I think you get very genuine reactions to what's happening around you. So those are my little final notes of advice. And those are the letters for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you would like to also submit yours, I will put the P.O. Box down below. But it is P.O. Box 808 East Worcester, to New East Worcester, New York, 12064. And I would be happy to do sort of like any advice giving letters again because I know a lot of you are looking for advice and I think this would be a good place to do them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!